Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it into axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Racing Your Vehicle Safely before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. Start removing the oil plug using a socket wrench and a 7mm Allen socket. Then finish it by hand. Be careful, on the last few turns of the screw, the oil may suddenly squirt out. Anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos How to make a collector for liquids. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. Using a flathead screwdriver, replace the oil plug seal. Remember to oil the seal properly before reassembly. Put the plug back in place. Start the process by hand and finish it using a socket wrench and a 7mm Allen socket. When you change the oil in your car, you must also replace the filter. In order to collect the oil that it contains and which might come out when it's removed, position the liquid collector underneath. Using a socket wrench, a long extender and a 32mm socket, you can now unscrew the oil filter flange by unscrewing it in an anti-clockwise direction. Unscrew it so that it turns easily. Finish the process by hand. Once it has been removed, leave it to drip for a few seconds. Take the filter out of its housing, separate the two parts and place everything into a liquid collector so that no oil drips into the engine. Using a thin flathead screwdriver, remove the rubber O-ring which is located on the flange washer. You can now clean the filter cover with brake cleaning fluid and paper towels. Replace the seal with the one provided in the new filter box, taking care to properly oil the whole surface. Take the new filter and insert it into the cover. You should hear a click when it locks into place. Put the filter back in place and screw it by hand until there's a contact between the seal and the frame. To tighten it, Take a socket wrench, an extender and a 32mm socket. Tighten it until there is contact between the washer and the metal housing of the filter and force a little. For this step, you can also use a dynametric key set to 25 newtons meter. Careful! With this kind of oil filter, the new joint can be excessively thick, 
making the actual tightening process more complicated. As a result, you have to ensure that the flange washer is flat against the metal engine frame. Don't force it too much as the part is fragile. Now, you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, lower your car back to the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Now, add oil into the engine. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug, start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed.